Hi everyone, so this is the first vid for the second lesson, all about founding intersections. So I've got this parametric equation, and it gives that a lovely curve over there. Uh, it says it wants to find where it crosses the y, the x-axis. So we know it crosses the x-axis at y is zero. We know that. So if I set y is zero, Then I've got take out the t, t squared minus 1. So I've got t. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Okay, right. I can see it as a t plus 1. Yeah, I go, do you know what? Let's go t, t minus 1, t plus 1. So that would give me then t is 0 for the first one, t is 1, t is minus 1. So then are the times, you've got to remember, these are the times. Now I want, what I, what I want is the x values. So these are the times, but I want, oh, close, or off. I want the x values. So when t is nothing, if I sub it into x here, it's x is, Four lots of nothing squared minus one. So it's just a minus one. So that would give a coordinate of a minus one zero. When the t is one, x is four lots of one squared minus one, which is three. So that would be three zero. And then for t is minus one, it's minus 1 squared minus 1. So that's actually 3 again. So both of those give them, if you look at the curve, it could have been, that one goes through first. Oh, yeah, there it is. And there it is again. And it comes back through the same point again. So that's why the t is 1 and the t is minus 1 give the same coordinate. Yeah. And then it says, uh, find it by the line 8y equals 3x uh, is free. Right, so this is a little bit more tricky, this. Right, so this is part B. So I've got 8y is 3x plus 3. I want to sub in the two equations and find t. And then from there, I can work out what the coordinates are. So this one's a little bit more. So it's eight lots of. So y is t cubed minus t. Are you happy with that bit? So I'm, I'm, I'm changing the y here and the x here. It's quite full on this. Three lots of uh, four t squared minus one. Plus three. Yeah. So if I expand some brackets, I've got eight t cubed minus eight t is twelve t squared minus three plus three. So I've got eight t cubed oops, minus twelve t squared minus eight t is nothing. If you stick that in the solver, you get t is zero, t is minus a half. T is 2, and all or whatever. Right then, for T is 0, if I sub it in the first equation, it's going to give me minus 1. Sub it in the second equation, it's going to give me 0. So that's minus 1, nothing. For T is minus a half, oh my word, so we've got plus a quarter times 4 is 1, 1 take 1 is 0. So x is 0. For subbing it into y, I've got minus an 8, minus a half. So that's going to be minus, uh, no, sorry, minus an 8, minus a minus a half. So it's minus an 8 plus a half. That's going to be 3 eighths. So 0, 3 eighths. And for subbing in t is 2 into these equations up here. 
So if I put two in, I've got 4, 16, 15, is that right? And then sub it into the y, I've got 2, 4, 8, minus 2 is 6. So I've got 15, comma, 6. There you go. <laughs> it's just not too bad. It's just messy, isn't it? Messy algebra, but the thing is, the key bit is, is to find t first. That's the key bit there. Find t first for both of them. What am I on? Five minutes. So there's one for you here. Oh. It works. Yeah. yeah. There. And I think I've got another example to do with you, which is proper full on. So that means it's over there, and then that lesson's done. Right, bye. -bye.